hope you are fine. Afya Muhimu today presents to you about diarrhea. What are the causes? How do we manage? What are the symptoms? And when should you visit your doctor? Kindly follow, subscribe, and enjoy watching. Diarrhea simply means when you have loose stool. Three or more episodes in a day. Diarrhea simply na manisha nile kuwa na chonye pesi maratatu ama zaiti kwa siku moja. Diarrhea ni common imekuwa miongoni mwetu na miongoni mwa kila mtu. Many people get diarrhea a few times in a, in a year. It normally lasts two to three days na inaisha. Watu wengi upata diarrhea na inakaa muda kidogo na inaisha siku mbili ama siku tatu kama itaziti zaidi na courses zake ni kama zifuatazo alcohol abuse kama unatumia pombe na umeitumia vibaya and this one diarrhea usually happens because of a virus that gets into your gastrointestinal tract so if a virus gets into your gastrointestinal tract then you expect a level of diarrhea some people call it stomach flu as i mentioned alcohol is one of the cause and then number two is allergies to certain food if you have an allergy to certain food probably there is expected kama uko na allergy ya chakula fulani maybe kula mayai unasikia tumbo ina kuchoma ya kuwasha unaendesha then you need to avoid that when you have diabetes when you have diabetes it's also a sign or a symptom that manifest is diarrhea diseases of the intestines ukiwa na ugonjwa wa matumbo matumbo yako kadha like ulcerative diseases colitis stomach flu then you expect diarrhea then ukikula vyakula ambavyo vina upset your digestive system via diarrhea you should expect it then when you have lactose intolerance lactose intolerance kuna vile vyakula vyenye vina contain lactose ukiwa na intolerance then you should expect diarrhea automatically i hope you're fine with me i hope you're getting well if you have any question raise it if you have any comment kindly publish it don't forget to subscribe share with friends and colleagues because your health is our priority and your health is your priority certain medications also you have certain medications that causes diarrhea and how do they work they work by interfering with the organisms the defense mechanism the lining of our intestinal system or our digestive system when you have what you call hyperthyroidism or over overreactive thyroid you expect diarrhea as a symptom when you are undergoing what you call radiation therapy those patients who have cancer those people who are on chemotherapy those people who are on cryotherapy then possibility of you having diarrhea it's very high how because the radiations interfere with your system of your interferes with your lining of your digestive system and diarrhea manifest as a symptom as i've mentioned people who have got some cancers also you should expect some diarrhea if you have uh, recently or you've just undergone digestive system operation like appendectomy laparoscopy then you should expect diarrhea as a symptom when you have you when you have a uh, difficulty or in trouble in absorbing some nutrients that's when you call malabsorption then you are at risk of getting diarrhea
Diarrhea may also follow constipation, as many say, as many think of, as it occurs. But people with irritable bowel syndrome only manifest with that complaint. Now, as I had said earlier, we should look at also symptoms of diarrhea. One of the symptoms include bloating in your belly. You feel like your abdomen or your stomach is full of gas. It's full of air. Then it's one of the symptoms of diarrhea. When you feel like you're having abdominal cramps, then it's a symptom of diarrhea also. When you have thin or loose stool, as I had mentioned before, thin or loose stool also indicates diarrhea. But how? Which amount? How often? Three episodes and more. Then we call it diarrhea. Not just a simple episode. It may be because of what you have taken. So be watchful of your diarrhea and don't take it for granted. Sometimes you may have watery stools, you may have false smelling stools, which indicate some bacterial parasitic infection. Sometimes you may feel the urge that you need to have to pass move to go and pass the power, but you go to the toilet and you find nothing. Then it's a sign of is sign of diarrhea. Now, sometimes you may have blood mucus in your stool. It indicates an infection. It indicates some disruption of a vessel somewhere, either fissure, either tear, or anything, or either bacterial infection. So don't take your diarrhea for granted. You may have, you may have to lose weight because diarrhea causes dehydration, as you as and as we all know, 75% to and above it's made of water. That's our body. You may experience some fevers when you're having diarrhea. This could be because of infection. And uh, what are the signs that may warrant you to call a doctor or that may warrant you to visit our inbox? So send us a message, email us, text us, follow us on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channel. When you have this, one, bloody diarrhea or black dairy stools. Two, when you have fever that's high. Three, when you have diarrhea longer than two days. Four, nausea and throwing up that prevents you from drinking and eating. Five, severe pain in your belly, at least the rear end. Six, Diarrhea coming back and again from foreign countries. Countries, sorry. Also, you may call us when you have dark urine, smaller than usual amounts of urine and stool, rapid heart rate, when you are having headaches that are persistent, when your skin is dry, when you are feeling confused and you are feeling crankness, then visit our Page, text us, email us, email us at ramadanasoro at, eight, ramadanasoro eight at gmail com, and also you may comment by liking and subscribing on our Facebook and YouTube channel. Drop your question and share with friends and colleagues. Now, how do we treat this diarrhea as I conclude? Don't take over-counter medications without knowing exact cause of diarrhea. I will give you a supporting man supportive management but definitive management, seek your nearest healthcare provider or hit our inbox. Supportive treatment, first of all, you need to take frequent water. You need to wash your hands after visiting a washroom. You need to wash fruits and vegetables before cooking and, cons and consuming. You need to drink boiled water or treated water. And then five, you need to check at the level of your food preparation, handling, as I had previously presented in my 
previous videos that how to store safe food for human consumption you can also refer watch and you will understand how to restore food properly to avoid such and such symptoms i hope you enjoyed watching take in a lot of water if you have diarrhea take vitamin c if you have diarrhea drink ors and zinc if you have diarrhea but don't take any medication any antibiotic rather than that hit our inbox enjoy watching share with friends and colleagues and subscribe also i've been yours ramadan nasoro